Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jesse Stokes. Um, I was just reading through some Proverbs and I saw something that, that kind of made me think about um, how Christians should deal with sickness. Now, a lot of times we, we can debate and, and have these different opinions like, um, does God heal everyone who's sick? And there's different scriptures that there's one in 2 Timothy that says, um, to anoint them with oil, bring them to board the elders, and, and pray for them who's sick. There's other scriptures and other doctrines that preach that everyone should be healed, and it's because of our faith. Jesus said that it's because of the person's faith. Um, he says, your faith has made you well. Then other times, Jesus healed, and it was because of Jesus' faith, not the other person's faith. And, and there's just so many different kind of things on healing, and, and I just wanted to talk about this verse. I'm not really going to give an answer on on healing, on um, if it's a yes or no for everyone. I'm still kind of working through that myself, but I just wanted to bring an insight to the topic, and I think this is something crucial to think about when we talk about physical healings. Um, and there's just so much, the Bible is filled with, oh man, it's just so hard to give a yes or no to this, this type of answer. Um, but Proverbs 18, verses 14 and 15 are, are a real key. So I'm going to pray and then we're just going to talk through those. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. Uh, Father, I just pray that you would open up your word. Um, bring clarity to what you want to say. Help us know that, that we're all about you, not about anything else. It's all about you, Jesus. Just pray this in your name. Amen. So I'm going to read Proverbs 18, verses 14 and 15. And I think this will provide some light to the situation. It says this, A man's spirit will endure sickness, but a crushed spirit who can bear. So it says that a man's spirit will endure sickness. Now, we know er, that a person is made up of three parts, just like Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit, are three in one, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit human mankind in Genesis 1 it says was made in God's image and if we're made in God's image we also like God have three parts of us we have our bodies our souls and our spirits now this is actually something that a lot of people um, talk about are we um, just material and immaterial or are we three in one it's a big kind of um, debate and it, it's kind of silly um, but there's some pretty big implications to it. There's a verse in Hebrews 4.12 that says, The word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, dividing the soul from the spirit. So that's the verse that um, I would take away and say that there is a division, according to Hebrews 4.12, from the soul to the spirit. So we are made up of three parts. We have the spirit, the soul, and the body. So... Proverbs 18, 14 says, A man's spirit will endure sickness. And here he's talking about not just our material, but our immaterial. The part of us that's born again. When you come to Christ and you're born again, you are now in the spirit. Like Romans 8 says, If anyone does not have the spirit of God, he does not belong to Christ. So we're in the spirit if we have received Christ, His Holy Spirit indwells in us. And so God, when He views me, when He views you, He views you not as a um, sinner, but He sees you as the Spirit of who you really are, of the righteousness of God. Like Second Corinthians 5.21 says that He who knew no sin became sin so that we might become the righteousness of God. And then Ephesians 1, 4, 1, 5 says that we're actually um, holy and blameless before him because he, in love he predestined us for adoption. So God sees us as the spirit of holy, blameless, and above reproach. And he sees us in our glorified state. Um, we're already raised with Christ um, before. So it says that a man's spirit here will endure sickness and, and when you say endure sickness i think of um endure physical pain um 
any kind of sickness, cancer, think of cancer today, um, um, any kind of sickness, physical problems, exhaustion, um, just feeling maybe depressed, or, or these sicknesses are physical sicknesses. So a man's spirit will endure. That word will means that, that it's possible. It, it will endure this. A man, his spirit can get through this. This is not a limitation, enduring sickness to a man and his spirit. People can get through sickness and, and be okay through that. But then it says this, it makes a, a, a there's a big but here. There's a big um, contradiction. There's a big opposite of this verse. I'm saying, look, a man, you know what, he might be sick. He might be hurting. He can be physical, but physical pain, but you know what? He can endure this. His spirit is strong enough to get through this. But then it says this, but a crushed spirit who can bear? Who can bear a crushed spirit? Who can bear the burden of being distant from God, of being depressed, of feeling lonely, of feeling hopeless and alone? And all these different things, think of crushed spirit. What does a crushed spirit look like? I think a crushed spirit really looks like um, you're just kind of down in the dumps. And you really have no hope in this world, nothing to live for. I mean, have you ever just like seen someone and, and maybe you're out in, in public, maybe at like Walmart or, or in the mall or something. You just see someone, you're like, that person just has a crushed spirit. And sometimes even Christians can have crushed spirits. And I think this verse is a real key when talking about healing because God cares more about our hearts and our relationship with Him than He does our physical well-being. Another scripture says that God searches to and fro throughout the whole earth looking for a heart that's fully committed to Him. And so it says a man's spirit will endure sickness. Another word for saying, look, sickness, it's, 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 you can overcome that. It's not, you know, it's not the end of the world if you're sick. But if you have a crushed spirit, man, who can bear it? You can't bear it. Other people are hurt by it. It just brings death. When your spirit is not alive, it really brings death. And I think there's an application here that is very clear from Proverbs 14 verse or chapter 18 verse 14 and it's that when we talk about healing i think it's more important of how someone's spiritually doing with the lord of how close someone is feeling with god of how it how what what is their state of their spirit is it crushed or is it thriving is it broken or is it connected I think of Johnny Erickson Tata, who's someone who's a, a paraplegic, um, basically paralyzed for the rest of her life. But she says, every day when I wake up, I feel so close to God because I realize that without walking, without having the ability to walk, it drives me to the arms of Jesus every morning. So there's someone who's enduring sickness, who's paralyzed, but her spirit is thriving. Her relationship with Jesus is overflowing it's it's resulting in fruit bearing um, connection and so I think the real call in this when we talk about healing I think really this verse is telling us that the most important part in our healing is our spiritual healing and spending time with the Lord talking to God hearing from God man I think that's why Paul says, you know what, I want to fellowship with God. Uh, uh, Philippians 3.10 says, I want to know God and just the power of his resurrection. Like, I just want to know him and the power of Jesus and to fellowship with him in his sufferings. And by any means possible, obtain the resurrection of the dead. Like Paul's saying there, he's like, look, you know what, if I got to suffer, so be it. Because why? A man's spirit will endure sickness. Paul's saying, look, if I'm sick, I'm going to endure it. I'm going to get through it. But you know what? If it increases my spirit 
if it if it if it makes it connected to Jesus, if it if it's not crushed but it's connected, then it's worth the sickness. So I think when we talk about healing, to pray in faith for healing, believing God will heal physically, but also say, you know what? How are you doing with the Lord? Because that's really what matters more than anything else. How are you doing with Jesus when it's just you and him? Um, so I just think these verses really um, shine a light, I, I think, in, in my perspective when I think of healing and I think of um, physical healing and, and also spiritual connectedness. Sorry if I kind of rambled there. I was just kind of excited about that. Um, yeah. All right. See you guys.